Hello everybody, it's Rhino and I am here today at the Magic Kingdom in Walt Disney World outside of the Tomorrowland Launch Depot, which if you're not familiar is actually the Tron Light Cycle Run gift shop right behind me there. And I am here today because I'm realizing that even though I did do like a video interview with um, one of the merchandising uh, folks at uh, Walt Disney World, at Disney, um, I didn't ever like go in after it opened to do like an actual like shopping around video. So. Uh, I figured we could go in, check out all the merch. The ride's been open for, as of the recording of this video, for about like two months now. Um, so we can kind of see what's stuck around, what's still in there, what the prices of things are, and all that fun stuff. And uh, maybe there's some like new unique stuff I didn't see before. But uh, before we go inside, I want to remind everybody that this and everything that we do here is brought to you by Dreams Unlimited Travel. They're experts at helping you plan the perfect Disney vacation. When you book with them, it costs you nothing extra on your trip. You help support the channel and all the content that we produce here. So check them out, dreamsunlimitedtravel.com. I have said that. It is like... I'm not even kidding. It's like almost 100 degrees today if it's not actually 100. Um, I know it was like 90 something last time I checked, but that was a couple hours ago. So I am hoping that there is some solid air conditioning inside of this gift shop here. So uh, let's go just like dive right in. Okay, there is air conditioning in here, I'm happy to report. And look at these light up jacket. We have both the Flynn and the Cora. Jill, would you mind modeling the Cora perhaps for us? Thank you. Also, could you just check the price tag on that for me as well? These are, the Flynn is 100. I'm just curious, that one is also 100. But she's got holes in the sleeve, so there's less material. Okay, we gotta get her to, she's gonna strip down here. I know there's a button I think I can push. Button, button, who's got the button? Well, I can't see it now, it's broad daylight. Does this one work? Oh, see, you can see it on this one. Okay, see, that is cool. Very sticky. Very sticky to you, a sweaty person here today, yes. What size are you wearing, currently modeling for us? The medium. So how would you say that fits in comparison to other mediums? Uh, the fit is a little tight in the... A little tight in the chest, yeah. Yeah, but, I mean, generally... How do you feel about it on versus what you saw? Oh, spin around, I didn't realize there was a disc on the back. Is there a button that you can push? Nope, that's the security alarm. I don't want to get arrested. Oh wait, that is the button. No, I don't think I don't think that one's lit up. Cause, Cause this one lights up. Look. No, you can see it. Yeah, it's just not. This one must need new batteries. Oh, probably it was the one in the front. I'm just curious if it's just this strip or if the thing in the back. It probably doesn't light up in there. How do you feel about this material? The material is the least. The material is not, yeah. I wish that it were a cotton. It's kind of like a wet suit. A wet suit material is what we're saying, but I'm, you know what's crazy? Like, like the fit is nice. The fit? Like, in Florida, like it does fit like how their costume is. It does fit like the costume is what she's saying. And, you, and uh, you can see if she didn't live in Florida, it's you could very, wear very, very thick, a very wet suit. Yeah, this is not a wear out in the summer. This is like maybe I bet we'll see people on these at the Halloween party in the winter, yeah. in the in the in the thing, and I think that'll look really cool. It's a hundred bucks. Ugh. Especially at it's night, it's tight, it but I think it would be cool at night. I'm gonna try on the extra large as well here. It's just hard to see the light no, because we're like not, this one isn't lighting up. We're right near the door. This one is pretty much the only one that you can like noticeably see. Light. I feel like at night, this is much more effective. Oh my god, are you for real? Well, it worries me that they don't work. No, I think everybody's just been playing with them because they're all batteries are run out. All right, so we're not gonna see it lit up on that. So I normally wear like an extra large. I think the extra large is too big for me. Yeah, I would agree. It looks couchy. very boxy. Yeah. Let's try a large. This is this large. Well, the fit's better. Still a little blousey around your waist. Yeah, right? It's a it's an interesting fit. It doesn't look bad, but how do you feel? Like move your arms up and down. It's a little 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 wet suity. Yeah. <laughs> it's just not soft. <laughs> it's a little 
like my mom made me a cardboard box Halloween costume when I was a kid. If you're and looking for a cos, a caboose. if you're looking for a cosplay that's easy and doesn't require a lot of like welding, sure. There you go. But I don't think this is an everyday wear. I'm also worried for a hundred bucks and another dim. We have the more casual grid look. Oh, I forgot about the helmets. Um, this is cute. This like button down with the zip here. I don't like that it's already pillowing in this and up here on the sleeve you can see here, but I do like it and the material feels really soft. Um, and then this one is, is nice too, this uprising. So here is that uh, hoodie, which is 60 bucks, but I do like how it has this like zipper hider. Yeah, the asymmetrical design here. And then the other shirt is $50 as well. We've got this remote controlled Tron light cycle that I'm going to show you in a minute lit up here. This is 70 bucks. Um, it's on the side. I'm going to show you how it lights up because it's on display in a second. And then, of course, we have this backpack, um, which is uh, you can do the identity disc on the backpack. And if you don't know, the identity disc is also a Bluetooth speaker. But these are $55. But look at the inside, which I like the pattern. But there's only one. There's no pocket. So it's literally just one pouch. There's no pouch on the outside for the water bottle. There's no, like, zipper in the front. So that kind of puts a damper on it. I don't know if I'm going to get this. I thought for sure it was coming in hot to get this and the disc. And now I'm like, mm, I don't know. So here is that light cycle kind of lit up so you can see it a little bit better. And then here's the disc that we'll go see in a few minutes here, right here. Cue it. That's 70 bucks. I have the toy from the original movie um, that like lights up and it's battery powered and motion censored and stuff. And it was not 70 bucks. But this is a Bluetooth speaker, and this has identity chips that can go inside of it that'll change the color, which are all on sale down here. So you have Sam Flynn, Rinsler, these are all $14.99. I see Clue, and I see Cora. So there's one, two, three, four different personalities right here um, that'll change it those different colors. I think it might just be like blue when it's by itself. Um, I'm not sure though, because then why would you buy the blue? But. There's that, and it's got a plug there. That must be how you charge it. Although my friend said it was just double A's, but clearly this one is charging somehow, so I don't know. Okay, so my Ken friend Ken here has pointed out that it says on the bottom of the box, the identity is is four double A batteries that are included, um, but it says they're non-rechargeable batteries are not to be recharged. So it says the supply terminals are not to be short-circuited. Do not use rechargeable batteries and remove the batteries when not in use. So this is a very misleading thing right here then. Interesting. Well, what do we have here? We have a limited edition 1,000 of this giant, giant pin, not giant, um, $60. I promise you I didn't, I didn't destroy this. Oh, they're all destroyed, my goodness. Um, I think these are maybe like, this is limited to a thousand. I don't know. Remove batteries. It must light up or something. I don't know. I don't know what that is. The future? Get some pins. The grid goes live 2023. This is a pass holder exclusive. I was about to be like, how can I show the back? I do like this shirt design, which again has the powering up 2023. I like the color and like how it has all the team colors on there. That is $45. Goodbye, sure, goodbye. There we got another pin, $17.99. There's some more of this stuff. We kind of learned about this thing, which is like a game that you like hold and play. And that's like, you know, like light cycle game. But that was in that original video I did when this, when this was coming out. This is 60 bucks. And then we've got some snap bracelets. Jill, will you, will you let me snap you? Hold on, hold on. Let me get it all. Let me get it all straight out. Ready? We have. This is make it extra slappy for you. Yeah, yeah. Right. Well, you still get that authentic slap. You do get the authentic slap, and you have three different colors to choose from. And these are how much? Do they have a thing? Ten dollars each. When you buy two, so twelve ninety nine. Thirteen dollars for a slap bracelet. This is cool. A light jet die cast vehicle. Oh, it's just like a display. For some reason, I thought this was like a remote controlled thing but um jill has found now this is actually the bag that will carry your helmet oh, which I is right next to you bowling. over here she thought it was a bowling bag it is designed after a bowling bag that Honestly, was the entire point but have a bowling 50 ball bucks and have need for a bowling bag this is pretty it's a cute bowling ball bag if you do bowl though yeah um but could you show me this helmet because i actually do kind of want this this helmet is 60 dollars, which is i thought it was gonna be like 100 bucks 
Can you put it on and see if it fits your head, if you mind? Otherwise, I can do it. Oh, my God, it's huge, Joe. You look like, um, uh, like in the 1960s, the def of like what they thought aliens would have over their head. Yeah, let's see here. Oh, it's lit up. Yeah. Did you hear things in here, like voices? No. Oh my god, I can't believe for how big it is. Oh, it does fit on the head. It's very space balls. <laughs> nope. <laughs> my earrings. <laughs> It lights up. For 60 bucks, honestly, not that bad. I like a helmet. This is one of those things where I'm like, oh, there's the button. It's in the back. It's like a switch in the back here. Oh, this one's not working. Um, but this is cool. Cute little kid shirt, $31.99. And we had our bowling helmet bag. I mean, you could use it as like a gym bag or something like that, but that is... $50. Here's a mug. It's really darkly colored, but it's like a dark blue. And that is $27.99. And we have this hat. That is $30. And we have this shirt. I kind of like this shirt with like the neon green. And that is $40. I like this one a lot too. This one is $40. But I like like the neon and the side here is fun. It's cool. I like that. This one's a little more like a combo of the classic and modern in the gray here. This one is 45, and then we've got a hat that kind of matches it. That one is 30. It's this looking mug that kind of reminds me of the canopy. I don't know what is on this one, $24.99. I do like this picture frame a lot though, and it's fun because they. I feel like the photo, uh, the photo opportunity on the attraction is really good. So this is 30 bucks. Ooh, patches. Don't tell Craig, he loves patches. Oh, $22.99. I was like, oh, I might get one of these because I'm literally about to put patches on a bag I have. Not for $22.99, no honey. This one is $12. This one that says welcome to the grid is $10. So that one's absurd. And then we have a pop socket over here. It's like a metal pop socket. That's fun. That's $25. And then I like this bag right here too. Somebody put something behind me and I just sat on it and I feel weird about it. And I'm just gonna keep moving on through this video though. $40. It's a lounge fly. Yeah. Can you uh, can you unzip so I can see what it looks like on the inside? Well, it has a foam or a paper, um, but it does have a pocket. It has a pocket and it's got oh, a pouch. And it lights up. Oh, it lights up, maybe. Okay. Nothing here. Oh, there it goes. You can kind of yeah. see. Yeah, that's cute. Okay, I like that. For 40 bucks, I like that. There's another, like, kid's shirt. This is cute. This is $35. My God, kid stuff is expensive. It looks like, and then there's, like, a little die-cast light cycle. There they are. There's that ship and the other thing out there. That's 20 bucks. I kind of like these water bottles, because look at this one. Look at this. The light's up. I like the big thick thing so you can like clip it or hold it easier. It's easier to pull out of a backpack. But then, uh, the, hold on, hold on. There we go. That's a nice wide mouth to be able to drink out of. That is 30 bucks. The only problem with one like this though is it's probably going to sweat. And then there's this light up keychain for $14.99. Oh, I'm going to pull the tab out. Don't tell anybody. That's a big keychain. That's more like a bag clip than a keychain, I think. Um, kids sweatshirt what i like about this one is it has that little like fun hidden pouch over here that's a light cycle disc it's an, oh, and what's the back look like oh that's cool and at the grid that's a fun shirt so that shirt is 45 dollars, and then this little kids cuts 32 dollars. another little kids hoodie here nothing on the back of this one but it does still have the light cycle disc there which is nice that's $45 and then we have another light up keychain that just says like Tron on it I don't know how to light that up there's these like print on demand stuff over here this made stuff but you can see there's all these magnet options and wall signs and then a bunch of like shirts in here which is cool those are $24.99 I mean it kind of depends on 
Or you don't, but you can get a sweatshirt, youth t-shirt. Oh, sorry, 40, 30, 30 for the sign. Interesting. And then look, here's the magic bands. Here's some headphone cases, some phone cases. I don't particularly like any of the phone cases. Like maybe that one, maybe that one, but eh, that one's all right. I don't know. Here's the watch bands and here are the magnets too. And here, if I had walked but a few steps further toward a snake, it would have bitten me. Well, you can still get that brick. And then here's that shirt. Winning is our destiny. Because that's what Clue always says in the movie. That is $30. All right, let's take a look at this classic Tron stuff. I like this kid's shirt. Here, I kind of wish this was like just an adult shirt because it's pretty nice quality. Like this is embroidered. $40 for a child shirt. Is this a child shirt or a lady shirt? Cut. It's a women's cut because that's an extra. High score. Oh, the high score on the back. That's fine. That's fun. It's a women's cut shirt. That's okay. And then over here for purchase for $3, you can get these like Flynn's Arcade coins that have different uh, different designs, tokens for the machine here. And of course there is uh, a bunch of fun, like look at that magnet. Whoa, that's like too much. That's aggressive keychain. And then here's a patch too, again, that patch is $11.99. And then what do we have down here? These are big chunky magnets for $25. This Tron Income shirt, this is $40. Oh, it's like soft at least. And then there's like the classic hat that also has that high score pattern on it. That's 30. And then a light up sign, a wall sign. I kind of wish this was the uh, Flynn's arcade sign more than the Tron one, but that is $70. I love this classic, it says vintage identity disc. It's literally just a Frisbee. And guess what? It's $10. That'd glow on the dock for that price. These are the Super 7 figures. Like usually you can find these at like Target and stuff like that. Um, these are $24.99. It's a small boutique company, I believe, that operates out of like San Francisco or something, maybe Portland. Um, the, the light cycle's 70, but they have the different colored ones. I think this cup's fun because it's got the it's got the the bikes on the top. It's twenty seven ninety nine, and then we have a classic mug. Greetings programs. Like programs don't operate without their coffee. Am I right? <laughs> and then uh, here we have this. Like I don't know. Is this a cutoff sweatshirt? I like the pattern on the inside. That is. Who are you? How much are you? $55 and then another backpack which is far superior to the other because this one's like an arcade game but it's got a pouch in the front here and when you open up pouch inside boom I like organization in a bag and that is $50 and then there's this like crazy set of figures from like the original that's all the original characters that comes in this really cool oh it lights up that's fun I don't know how much this is though probably too much that is a one hundred and twenty dollars. I like, I like both of these because I like that this says Lake Buena Vista location now open. Flynn's at the corner of Washington Boulevard, and and then there's this like sweatshirt over here. I don't see that sweatshirt. Oh, that's the back of it. Oh, cute. Very cute. I like it. It's like a little classic vintage sweatshirt. Yeah. 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 What I like about this one is the this part. Yeah. The, that's cool. That makes the difference. Yeah. I feel like it gives it that little extra. Mm, right. That's where I got it on vacation. So that's like 60 bucks. This is, it's nice. Very nice. There's a couple of these Tron blind box pins here. A pin. $11.99. $20 for the blind box. That's a lot of money for a blind box. And then there's this like insert the quarter which is yellow pricing. And then all these. I'm not going to go through all of these. I'm gonna scroll down, scroll down, and we're scrolling. Cause I'm kind of like in the queue. Oh, these ones are fun. They're like the badges. Somebody stole one. That's $35. Then there's like a trading pin set that comes with a lanyard and all that. And I think that's kind of, I think that's kind of it. Also, there is this whole area over here where you can get like a Tron figure with like your holographic face designed on it. And I'm not gonna go through that whole thing today just because um, 
like, well, one, I'm not ordering it, so you have to do it over there. But let me see if there's one that I can show you. See, okay, so I can't, I've got to like, oh, nope, he's in the, he's in the, so this is the whole thing, like customize your program. But so it's a figure like this, and then like the color can change, but there's a face like projected on there that's a little hard to see in here. But if you do want to learn more about this, um, you can scroll back through the videos on this channel. And when this ride opened, um, I did an interview with one of the uh, Disney um, merchandise people and, and they talked about it a little more in depth. And it's kind of a cool, kind of a cool thing. So um, yeah, it's something worth at least listening about. Doing, I don't know. I don't know anybody who's done it yet. And I don't know the pricing either. Here's actually a whole display of all those like figures in here. I don't know that their faces show up super well. But here's the uh, pricing. So the Tron Identity Program figure is $90. And of course you can also, I believe, put this chip. The chip, the whole thing about the chips here is they can go in the disc or in the, the cycles, the figures, all that sort of stuff. So that is it for the Tron gift shop, uh, for the Tron light cycle run gift shop. And I already forgot the name of the gift shop, but a lot of bold pricing in there. Um, and yeah, so I don't think I'm leaving today with anything. I'm a little bummed out about that backpack only being like one pouch. I at least wish there was like a little divider on the inside. So I don't know. I already have the light disc, one of the, the identity discs from the first movie, like when Tron Legacy came out like years ago. And so I'm like, I don't need, I don't need that. And then I don't need the bag and that's fine. Now I've saved money today. So that's good, but I'm proud of myself. Um, so thank you everybody for joining me on this. If you like the video, thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Of course, leave comments, questions, concerns, anything like that in the comments section below. And don't forget about Dreams Unlimited Travel when you're planning your next visit. And that is gonna do it for me. I'm over here and we're the uh, number one cause for the hole in the ozone. But uh, anyway, uh, that's gonna do it for me. I'll see you all soon with another video. Goodbye, everybody.